I'm here to tell you my origin story. Let's go. There's just no queen like a vegan queen. Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, my asthma will be doing her own origin story um, uh, in a couple of weeks time. And some of you expressed interest in uh, our origin stories. So I'm going to tell you mine, Gemini, how I began. So let's go back to many years ago. There was a little boy called Paul who used to often go to the pictures and watch scary films. And because he went and watched scary films, he used to have to walk home past a very long cemetery wall after watching these scary films at the movies, you see. So when he was about 10 or 11, he went to see the fog. And um, when he came out of the cinema, it was foggy and he was walking down by the cemetery wall and he decided he was scared. So he imagined that there was the spirit of a young girl called Donna with blonde pigtails who was walking on the cemetery wall, talking to him. An imaginary friend, shall we say. Jump a couple of years later and Paul decides he wants to be a drag queen. What he doesn't know is that that feminine spirit that he manifested when imagining Donna was now me and I was a part of him. And from that day forward, I would have always been a part of him and he chose to let me out. So at 13 years old, Paul did his first drag show at a pub called The Clarence in Ashton Underline. He mined to um, the Jazz Hot from uh, Big Victoria with uh, an old gold court he'd got from the Coliseum Theatre that was used in a panto and a plastic kid's helmet that he covered in sequins and stuck something out the top of. And he really tried to bring me out. And that number was immediately followed by the stripper so he could take off the cloak and the hat and everything and bask and knickers and stockings on underneath. And then he went into it's raining men with, bless him, an umbrella with a string tied to every spoke with a cut out paper man dangling from the string. Looked wonderful when it was all done and then it all got folded in there and put away ready for the stage. Well, you can imagine what happened when it opened. Anyway, that was, that was his first time bringing me out properly or was it because there had been times before that where he'd done Hilda Ogden at fancy dress competitions and uh, had played with makeup anyway let's let's just say that then that was the official time and uh, Paul became a drag queen and he called himself Legs <laughs> for a little while and then the name Gemini came up because Paul is a Gemini, star sign, do you see? And star sign is the twins and it's kind of like we're twins, much closer than twins, some might say. So. Gemini came after legs and there was uh, drag shows and drag DJing jobs and all kinds of stuff uh, going on and then in 
um, the early 90s, uh, the Gemini name was put on hold uh, because Paul decided to work with a friend of his called Andy and they came up with a double act called Don Daniel, which actually means a part of hell. And they worked on costumes and uh, their set for a good three or four months and uh, they had a booking uh, at a local pub and it was like the first big night and um, unfortunately Andy couldn't do it, he just, everything in him told him he couldn't do it so he, he couldn't do it so Dom Daniel went on to do her performance and she stayed Dom Daniel for a little while and then Gemini came back and Paul started to develop a big gap in his front teeth. Uh, he has uh, the sleep clench thing. You know, people who clench their teeth when they um, when they sleep. Uh, his dad was exactly the same. So he developed this big gap in his teeth. Anyway, he kind of thought that that was it for me and that I would never be around again only in his mind sat in that room wearing my lingerie drinking my gin waiting for the chance to come out and play and even to the point where he watched a film called Mirror Mirror uh, which is on a collection of films called Boys on Film, brilliant LGBTQ related films, marvellous. And this film, Mirror Mirror, um, is an older guy having a discussion with his female alter ego in the mirror as he takes everything away, the makeup, everything, and starts to bin it, and she's pleading with him not yet. Please let me stay a little while longer. So I was always there. Always. And then in uh, 2016, Paul started hosting a TV show in Manchester called Now We're Talking. Actually in 2015, December 2015. Uh, and when it got to kind of uh, July or August when it when those months were coming up in 2016 Paul said see by this point he'd been to the dentist and said anyway you can sort this gap out in the teeth at the front and she said yeah I can put you a couple of veneers on them and get rid of the gap completely so that was a bonus and then I kind of started shouting, Paul, the gap's gone. That was the only burden. That was the only barrier. It's gone. So Paul started thinking about doing this drag extravaganza show and I'll link uh, part one immediately followed by part two up there. Uh, and uh, so he asked his best friend Stuart would you like to do this drag show with me on the TV like a two hour special to, as a pre pre Manchester Pride launch and then he asked Lucy Lush and her daughter Cleo Lush so there they are four drag queens celebrating the upcoming Manchester Pride and what a fabulous show it turned out to be. They all got drunk on champagne. Very, very naughty girls. I was a very naughty girl when it came to the champagne. Sorry. So Paul's always told everybody that Gemini androgene is an androgynous being from a distant galaxy that destroyed itself due to hatred, homophobia and racism. And she, escaped in a ship and came to earth 
and decided to inhabit his body. But then the story changed because after that show at Manchester, uh, at, uh, that's Manchester, Paul said to Stuart, so this seemed, this has gone really well. Fancy doing a double act. He had a unscratched itch to do a double act after the first one hadn't worked out and there'd been quite a lot of work gone into it. And Stuart said, yeah. Why not? And then the vegan queens were born and our backstory became even more dramatic and every word of it true. Gemini, she did come to earth. She ended up working at a little in Germany. Putin used to come in for his bread. They had shenanigans <clears throat> behind the little she caught pregnant with my asthma 34 years ago this Putin finds out sends the KGB looking for them they scurry across the world trying to hide Gemini works in a circus my asthma ridden down her bosom while she does the trapeze crazy times and here we are now Safe from the KGB, safe from Putin, and more importantly, I'm back with Paul, but for good this time. And I know there'll come a time when I will go away physically, but I'll always live in Paul's head, always. I am, after all, Gemini, Dom Daniel, Legs, Donna, the little girl on the cemetery wall, and all of them and more. I may not be a lady, but I'm all woman. And you know, from Monday to Sunday, I do work harder than you know, to tell you the truth. Scrubbing floors and... <laughs> So that is my little origin story and I intend to continue living exactly where I live in Paul's head. I'm happy with how much I'm allowed out to play and I'm happy with how much time I'm allowed to just rest in my room there in my negligee with my gin and lemon and my hot tub and Barry and Larry Doug and David and Daniel, Brian, Pip, Sam, Peter, George, there's more, but I'll stop. <laughs> and I'm sure there's more to this story and I'm sure that when Paul's editing this he'll whack up some pictures of his stages of drag over the years or should I say his stages of me over the years I'm Gemini and it's been lovely talking to you thanks so much see you again